Welcome back to Cooking with Coach M. Today we're gonna make zucchini bars. Now it's kind of like a zucchini cake, but cooked really flat, and then you can cut them into like better, better portions for everybody. And it's got zucchini, so that's fun. Let's bake. Because we're baking, we've got a lot of things. Oh, let me turn on the light. Um, we've got uh, lots and lots of sugar, baking soda, baking powder, cinnamon, vanilla, salt, eggs, flour, um, coconut oil, zucchini, and we gotta like mix it all up. So this this recipe is great because you just like mix up a whole bunch of your your damn fish ingredients, and then you're gonna just mix in your your dry ingredients and bake it in a sheet. So let's do it. Okay, so I finished my batter. It's so, it's really so easy. You just throw it all on the thing. Um, and then, gosh, I, I don't think I've made these since I was maybe in high school. And I don't know why, because they're so good. So I have a cookie sheet, just a cookie sheet. And I put my parchment paper over the top. And I'm just supposed to pour these in and, um, smooth them all over. And that's okay if they don't go all the way to the edges. You just do you. Um, and then there's a topping that goes on top. And I love this topping because one, toppings are great. And two, it has nuts in it, which means I don't think my kids will eat it because they have an aversion to having nuts um, on baked goods, which maybe I did that to them on purpose because then I can eat more of them myself. Um, when I'm spreading this out, oh gosh, my stepdad used to make this all the time and I think he probably spread it smooth all the way to the edges. And if he was watching this, he would probably be mortified. But I don't know if he knows how to get to the YouTube and I definitely know he doesn't know how to get to the Instagram. So anyway, so to make my topping, I am just gonna mix some flour and some sugar um, together with a half a stick of, isn't that great? It looks great. I'm gonna mix my flour and my sugar, it's right here, together with um, a half a stick of butter and some chopped nuts. I'm using walnuts because that is what I have. Um, so I'm supposed to mix it together with a fork. Let me get a fork. Fork, fork. So you're, it's, it makes like a crumbly kind of top. Now I think using a pastry, ooh, sorry, that was loud. I think using a pastry blender would also be really good for that. This is a pastry blender, right? You know that, you know that? Pastry blender, those are great. Um, I'm gonna toss in nuts. I think I wanna do all of them. I'm gonna try the pastry blender instead of the fork. And you're just making just like a rough topping. Um, I don't, I'm trying to think, would you want it? Could you do this with something besides butter? I don't think I would. You know, I'm thinking like coconut oil or something, but I, I don't, sometimes you just need butter. And I think this is one of those times. Um, you wanna make sure that it's really mixed so that you don't have big like clumps of flour sugar on it. Um, but it's not, you're not gonna be able to like incorporate every little bit because there's things in it and that's fine. Look at this, oh you guys. I haven't made a crumbly top of something in a very long time. This is fun. Okay, oh, I want, I think I want more nuts. I'm just gonna do them all. Then maybe I'll get to eat more. So then I'm just gonna spread it all over the top of this, right? La 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 la. Just poured it in the middle and then I spread. To me, that's easier. Doesn't this look amazing? It's fun finding lots of different things to do with zucchini because summer's coming up. I don't know about you guys, but we have like 100 days of zucchini. So we have to find lots of different ways to use the zucchini. And this is nice because this uses two whole cups of shredded zucchini. So now all I'm gonna do is bake it at my magic number, 350. 350 for 
30 minutes. They just Ta -da. came out of the oven and you see they spread, they spread really well. What I love about this recipe is I don't have to clean the pan. I just had to clean that one bowl. So now I'm just gonna let them cool in here and then I'm gonna slice them up and we're gonna enjoy. Oh, you guys, this is a good one. See you next time. Bye, thanks for coming. Okay, bye.